So I'm here with Colin at Industrial Light and Magic, and we're about to see what? The town of town of what again? The town of dirt. Okay. Rango uh, gets thrown from a car. He's a pet lizard. Uh-huh. And he wanders into the desert, finds this town, uh-huh. which is populated by several other animals, and uh, very much, you know, a west town. Uh-huh. And uh, he's a, essentially like a city slicker. Uh, okay, so he's he's, he's a fish out of water. He's a fish out of water. Yep, okay. but he's a he's an actor, so he blends in and pretends to be the hero. So we can walk down. So we can walk down, walk the, down town. the street. Yep. And just and, you right. know, look at the saloon and look at the saloon. So we're turning and looking at the saloon. Yep. Can we go in the saloon? The saloon, the interior of the saloon is a separate set. So uh-huh. we kept, if we're shooting exteriors, we kept this really light. Although the textures are all you know, pretty decent for what we need, but this is all uh, optimized for real time. Uh huh. Um, so in this in this particular instance, you couldn't walk inside one of the buildings, but we, but we, we can, but there's nothing in it. There's nothing it, in it. Exactly like a movie set. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. All right. But then you could also change this and uh-huh. be inside the building with Absolutely. another set entirely. Right. So if we're there's a scene set in the saloon, and for that we could bring in that saloon set, be inside it, and mm-hmm. he could scout shots the same way he could here. Mm-hmm. So wow. it's a it was a powerful tool, especially. Because he was a live action, he is a live action filmmaker, and so this gave him tools that he was comfortable with. So it gives a it gives a, a traditional filmmaker the ability to to work around Absolutely. in a new in completely a new medium. Yep. That 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 is difficult to visualize yep. otherwise. He had never done an animated film before, so these were tools that made it a lot easier. Huh. We also, uh, in addition to scouting shots. We also did what was called final camera work, camera polish, uh-huh. where animation would finish their work and send it back to us. And so they would have animation on Rango, and he might be leaning back or mm-hmm. doing some action, and then we would actually reshoot the camera move mm-hmm. to follow his action like a real camera operator. Now, I bet you could also set this up so that maybe it's a rainy day or maybe it's nighttime yes. or the sun's yeah, the, coming up. The or sky can, can change. Can we look up? We can. It's, the, it's can all see cloudy. The sky, see the clouds? Wow. Yep. Wow. That's terrific. Yeah. So and then we have a, a little joystick device that allows, uh, allows us to be flown around, basically. Mm-hmm. As so you can the, float up and over. Yeah. So oh, we can. Mike here can be our. So we're going to fly a crane operator. Counter. If he cranes me up, we can, or flies me forward. Is that the one? Oh, and you're and you're controlling this with what looks like just a wireless video game controller. Yeah. Just like. Oh, the crane doesn't want to. No, it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now we're going up. So moving yep. up, and then he can do the pan tilt, so we can do compounded moves. Yeah. So he could, and we can record this live. And I could actually shoot the move. And what what, what actual it. hardware is this? This is looks like it's it's a, it's, it's, it's running our proprietary software called mm-hmm. Xeno. Uh huh. But the hardware is a, it's just oh a the tab- hardware is a it's a Cintiq tablet. Uh huh. Specially made for for. That's off the shelf from mm-hmm. Wacom. Really, it's just yep. a Wacom tablet. Yeah. And so what we did is uh, rather than spend our time and energy um, engineering mm-hmm. custom form factor virtual cameras, mm-hmm. we actually. Um, spent the time on the development, the integration, what the tools were mm-hmm. for the hooks and the software, to have the lens kit, to have the, mm-hmm. the camera dolly functions, uh, depth of field, uh, all those things. So we actually just map the functionality of the buttons on the tablet. And then we can just reconfigure it based on what the director wants. So based on, okay, so now what's this assembly here on the outside with the uh, the the metal bars and whatnot. Is that just That's for That's just 3D? a 3D tracking object. It's a known dimensional object that a um, motion capture system is recognizing. Oh, so so the cameras are recognizing the, yes. the balls on the, on the... And then that's giving the animation system its uh, perspective, the, basically the six degree freedom uh, camera position. Hmm. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? You're funny looking. Oh, yeah? 
You're funny looking too. That's a funny looking shirt. It's a funny looking dress. You got funny looking eyes. You got a funny looking face. You're a stranger. Strangers don't last long here. Thank you.